what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm doing something different on here today as i'm going to be talking about spider-man 4 when i say spider-man 4 i'm talking about the spider-man 4 to the og spider-man toby mcguire um who portrayed peter parker from sam raimi's films the spider-man trilogy from the mid 2000s early to mid 2000s i'll say so we know that that franchise ultimately came to an end because of the disagreements that were going on during the almost near production start for spider-man 4 which i know was going to have him back and hathaway i think was supposed to be in it. it's going to have vulture in it um and some other i think electro was going to be in it too some other cool villains as well and that movie of course got canceled it was supposed to be out sometime in 2011 but it didn't come to fruition recently though sam raimi who we know is going to be behind doctor strange in the multiverse of madness he stated that he is indeed open to the idea of directing spider-man 4 with toby mcguire uh, when speaking to movie pilot when asked about this he said that he didn't think it was possible but after jumping back into the multiverse i realized that anything is possible now so i'm completely open to it so what many of us of course are already aware of is that recently toby mcguire did indeed reprise his iteration of spider-man in tom holland's iteration of spider-man spider-man no way home which brought him uh andrew garfield and tom holland together in a i would say love letter to spider-man in one of the most amazing movies i've ever had the pleasure of seeing and the best movie of 2021 i would say as well so that movie all together has had man many fans of spider-man and marvel in general just clamoring and holding on to that nostalgia that the movie made us feel and asking ourselves is there a chance that they could actually open up the door and explore spider-man 4 again now i do think that they do have that option of course it's an option the idea though that it will happen i think that there's a a lot of people who would also argue that that ship has sailed and you know i've seen people say that maybe they can do something like a logan type of movie with an older toby's toby peter parker uh with kirsten dunce presumably black as well as mary jane and just explore an older spider-man and give us a narrative like that i think it could work i just don't think that that is something that's on their radar heavily right now although i've also seen people speculate that what if multiverse of madness does something that could set up spider-man 4 with a toby mcguire back in the role so i don't know if spider-man no way home was toby mcguire's one and done or if this is actually just the start of maybe one more maybe a couple re reappearances as toby mcguire or as peter parker in the multiverse or even in his own universe which was already established to be part of the multiverse in sam raimi's timeline once again picking up many years after the events of spider-man 3 and just showing us what this character has been up to picking up with toby back in the role and throwing all of these unique things at us with sam raimi fully behind it because sam raimi's spider-man trilogy was definitely groundbreaking it was definitely a time where superhero movies at the time weren't as weren't as frequent as they are today um in a lot of ways i think how how they weren't as frequent back then made them very much more special honestly even though a lot of the marvel movies that come out are in the classic movies and well-made movies and cinematic um masterpieces most of them i would say not all but the marvel cinematic universe is one of the most successful things going on right now so the fact that sam raimi spider-man is now associated with it in some capacity makes me kind of excited at the idea of getting to see this character brought back with toby mcguire in the role getting to see more of just what he did from spider-man no way home learning what he's been up to learning how the fallout from spider-man 3 impacted him and mj's relationship and just having him back in the role and exploring everything that relates to toby mcguire's iteration of peter parker in a more mature setting and maybe you can also bring back aunt may um i i haven't really looked up that actress recently so if she's still alive let me let me know uh i believe she is still alive i remember i loved her portrayal of aunt may I, she's honestly my favorite i love i know people love marissa tomai in in tom holland's trilogy and i also i get the reasons behind it i'm i'm, I'm not ignorant to that <laughs> but i would love to see toby mcguire return as spider-man and i would love to see him suit up once again and just see him go back into being the web slinger and see how his spider-man has grown up how he's been shaped and what what his spider-man has been up to for the past 20 something years i guess 
not 20 something maybe 10 plus years and just catching up with him catching up with mj uh is he still writing for the daily bugle learning a lot of stuff as it pertains to toby mcguire's iteration of peter parker sam raimi being open to it maybe there is something that actually happens in the multiverse of madness that takes place and will lead us into a scenario that is like a door open to doing a spider-man 4 not saying it's happening but just saying that hey there's something here that we can actually come back and address when we're ready to because i think that spider-man 4 with toby mcguire is on a i don't think that's on their priority list of course sam raimi being open to do it while that's nice i don't think that that means that the movie is going to be coming out anytime soon i also know that Tommy me recently signed on to do this movie called babylon i believe so with that in mind seeing toby mcguire in the role once again definitely would be great if they do a logan style film i think it could work if they don't do that and they just do something else but it's still centered around a very much mature version of his peter parker i think that would work as well and maybe even dive into some darker elements of it maybe give us some horror vibes out of it uh just because i'm i know i usually do horror content so i'm thinking of some more darker ways they can tackle this movie give us some more of that type of darkness we saw in spider-man 3 but just don't have as many subplots going on to the point where you're juggling so much that everything doesn't mesh well and everything kind of feels like an afterthought some things feel more important than others even though they're all involved in this great big final battle uh just don't have a spider-man 3 debacle happen again even even though i still like spider-man 3 it just has a lot of cons in comparison to the first two sam raimi films which we know apparently was heavily regarded or or due to some interferences from the studios involved so hopefully they let him have his full swing of things with his iteration of spider-man 4 if he were to get the chance to do it and hopefully something like this does happen i just don't think it's on the top priority list right now i also think this is like on the very bottom of list of things that they're concerned about i think at most right now we'll get to see toby in other marvel movies as peter parker in some way with multiverse factored in but i hope something does happen with a spider-man 4 movie with his peter parker at some point let me know what you guys think about this and from same Remy said down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video